Hi, I'm Kalton Patel and I'm here with DJ Caper to talk about blood donation within the South Asian community. Caper, this is the first time you gave blood. Why haven't you given blood before? Well, one of the reasons was time. You know, if I'm not travelling abroad, then I'm working on my radio show. Another reason was because I thought it would be painful. I'm a little bit scared of needles. And also, I didn't really know where to do it. OK, so I've just got my welcome pack and uh, it's just basically general information about giving blood, um, the process involved and the do's and don'ts. So uh, I'm going to read through this and I'm going to drink my water because it's important to keep hydrated when you're giving blood. Hi, Jill. Hello, my name's Diane. You've read, read through the welcome pack? Yep, I have. Okay, right, if you'd like to follow me through, I'm sure. just going to take you through and do your health check. Cool, OK. okay. Okay, so I'm about to do my donor health check, and uh, this bit's private, so I'll see you in a bit. So why did you decide to give blood? Because I realised how important it was to my community to give blood, because I found out that only 1% of the South Asian community actually do give blood. And also there are certain conditions, like thalassemia major, which require regular blood transfusions. Okay, so gone for your health check, that's all right, and what I'm going to do now is just check your iron level. Okay. okay little finger prick, and I'm just going to drop a bit of blood in this liquid here. Okay. Sinking beautifully. So what was your experience like of giving blood? I thought it was quick, it was easy, it was painless, which I was glad about, and also the staff were really friendly, made me feel at ease, and knowing that I'm, I'm helping my community and I'm helping to save lives is pretty, a pretty amazing feeling. So do you see many Asian donors? Not as many as we need, really. Um, we do need a lot more. It, it's one of these scenarios that people automatically expect blood to be there for them. Mm -hmm. And if you went into the hospital and we suddenly said, sorry, you can't have blood today because we haven't got enough, right. you know, there'd be eruptions. So the more donors and the more ethnic donors we can get through the door, the better it is for the patients that are in there desperate for the blood that we supply. What would your message be for, for potential donors? Well, it only takes an hour out of your day and it's such a simple and easy process. And in that hour, just think, you could be saving a life. So it's definitely worth doing. Calvin, you actually suffer from sickle cell beta thalassemia. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? So sickle cell is a genetic blood condition and uh, basically it's just a lack of oxygen in the blood and it affects people within the South Asian communities. Having a condition has had a huge impact on my life. It's disrupted my employment um, when I have a sickle cell crisis I'm in hospital for a few days and then when I come home it takes a few few more days to recover. So tell me about the first time you actually had to have a blood transfusion. I had a blood transfusion when I was about 10 years old and um, I, I had an exchange transfusion which means they took out all the old blood and they replaced it with new blood and that literally saved my life so I'm very very grateful for all the people that donate blood so without them I wouldn't be here today. I donated blood today and it was quick and it was very simple and you can do the same too. All you've got to do is call 0300 123 2323 or you can visit blood.co.uk slash VIP. Donate blood today and help save a life.